Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to the Miss Lillian's page. I am Christopher, a furniture artist out of Barry, Texas. And um, as my friend Michelle, uh, she created a new word for my stuff. Um, and I'm going to get into that, but it's Christopher. And uh, so there's some projects that I've done. And she and I like to go yard sailing together and, you know, craft shows and stuff like that. And I'll pick up something and she goes, I bet you're going to do something cool with that. How are you going to Christify it? So that's my new word, Christopher. So I have a project like that, but y'all can't tell nobody. Well, you can't tell Shorty. So nobody can tell Shorty about this project because this is uh, one of the, we're going to do two different projects today because they're both small projects. But you can't tell Shorty about the first one because it's his Christmas present. And so we don't, we don't, we don't want him to know about it yet. So I'm getting, I stirred up my Southern Rust kit. So I got to get those out the way. And when I say by, we went to, uh, we went up to the IWF in Corsicana this weekend for their uh, annual festival, uh, festive market. And I got this for my husband. Yay. Isn't that just the cutest thing? So I, it's really hard for us to find stuff that has our name on it. And so I got him this, and the first thing she says is, okay, yeah, that's awesome, but how are you going to crucify it? So I'm going to stain the the heads and the state and the top of the names. I think that that would look pretty cool. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to leave it facing you guys. It is going to be down on my table. Let me see if I can get the eh, camera down because y'all ain't going to be able to see what I'm doing. So I am using, real quick, I'm using the water-based wood stain. This is Boho is the color. Give it a little shaky, shaky. And then I see somebody's on Miss Lillian's account. Hello, whoever that is on Miss Lillian's account. And I'm just going to pour some into a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to take the top all the way off. So... I'm just kind of squeezing some out the bottle. Oh, it's Renee. Hey, Renee. So, don't worry, Renee. I do that all the time. So, I'm just using just a little bit of the boho, the wood stain, the water based, and this is what I'm doing it on. Got this yes, uh, yesterday for Shorty. So, don't tell him this is one of his Christmas presents. Now I'm me. There's two chatty chicks. Yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using my water-based stain in the color boho. And I'm going to do the longhorn and the letters of our name and the state in them. So I'm just crystifying a couple of things. The second project we're going to be doing is very simple. These boxes. I did this um, and a friend of mine saw it and he just fell in love with it. And he says, I need three of those for my friends for Christmas. And what I did was I just took a box. It's got a lid, just a plain, simple wood craft box. And I keep it together and I use the Southern rust kit and it looks like a block. It looks like a rusted block. But if you do this while it's wet and you do not touch it, let it dry. Don't open it. Then what will happen is that it will that when it seals, when you put the lid back down, it'll look like a block. So he asked me for three of those. So I'm going to get to that in just a second. There's different ways that you can put on your water-based stain. And for me, since I'm just doing these, these little areas here, um, I'm just using a little brush. And so, uh, and then I can wipe it back if I want to. But you see, I am just using my wood-based stain my water-based stain and I am just very thinly putting it on there and moving it around and since this is raw wood it is definitely gonna soak into it and give it an aged look and so it's just like one little dab almost did the whole longhorn and that is what we're going to be doing over all the letters. And then hopefully by the end of this video, it'll be mostly dry. And so you can see after it soaks in for a minute, 
but you see how that's just going to make those letters and everything pop. It's uh, wet right now, so it's a little shiny, but as it dries and soaks into the wood, Renee says that she loves that color. Thank you, Renee. I was looking for something very, very unique for Shorty, for my hubby. And we were walking through the craft fair and they had, you could design your own. See, some people had these and it said fresh eggs and some people, you know, it said laundry and some welcome. And um, so I tossed up between making one that either had our last name or one that said go away. And I was going to put it by the front door. Um, so I, I decided to be nice and um, do the, uh, our, our name, our last name. So. I, I am, hey, Elsie Lane, hey, lady, so I am thinking I really do want to do a porch leaner that says go away, um, I've been thinking about that for, for years, and I, eventually I'll get to it, but you see how that's really make the letters stand out, and so, trying to move right along here. So I am just dabbing this on and brushing it so it's very thin with a firm tipped artist brush. Not so, I mean, it, it's kind of in, in the middle. It's not a soft tip and it's not really a firm, firm tip. It's kind of a, a medium. And that way I can kind of scrub it in to the dents and the dings, the natural crevices in the wood and I'm not wiping it off. And so, depending upon how thick I put it on, I can determine how bright it's going to be. Because it's going to suck into this raw wood. Raw wood is naturally thirsty. And so, if you ever do something with raw wood, just know that, that if you use paint, if you use stain, it is definitely going to soak into that, the pores of the wood, a lot more than, say, a, um, well, a, a factory finished piece that if you paint over top, that paint is going to sit on top of your factory finish. For this type of project, it's definitely going to soak up and in it's trying to get there and it just says era right now we're going to get to the rr we're getting there so when we got a little texas down here so just again nobody tell my husband about this because we're christifying it and i do like the water-based stain um the gel stains they're great too and they have their purposes for me for what i'm doing now marilyn's on she says oh my god this is a cute sign i love it so don't tell shorty but this is his christmas present picked it up yesterday so and then i'm going to be working on some boxes with the southern rust kit we are just christifying some simple things and getting ready for some christmas gifts Give you guys some easy and inexpensive, easy to do, fun to do with the kids. So uh, if you've got somebody at home that can cut out your letters, um, then you can have the kids, the grandkids with the water-based stains because they're not toxic. You can have the kids, grandkids, you can have them stain with the water-based stain and give somebody a homemade and grandbaby fied present for Christmas. And then in just a minute, this is a lot more difficult to do over, but I didn't want to put my camera position wasn't uh, playing nice with me today. So I do what I got to do. Um, and then I'm going to move over to the Southern Rust Kit and show you guys the Southern Rust Kit. And so it's been, you know, we do not have a, obviously we do not have a common last name, 
So when they were doing the uh, built, make your own sign and they had the letters and stuff sitting there for you to pick out what you wanted, I jumped on this and um, got it. And they kind of uh, wood burn the outside of the letters. And so it'll be thought that staining it, Christifying it, making it my own. And then when Shorty comes back off of his business trip, we'll do um, Christmas. And this will be here because he's always made those comments. You know, if you got an unusual name and you go into a gas station or a theme park or anything like that, you have an unusual, you can never find the keychain or the headband or anything with your name on it. And Shorty's made the comment several times that he can never find, you know, unless it's a special order, anything with his, with our last name on it. And so now he does. Now we've got a sign for our homestead that has our house, our last name. And again, um, like I said, with this, since it is a small project, I am using a brush to just brush it on and get it down into the crevices of the wood. Um, I don't want it to be like perfect. I want it to look aged. And so let me get the state of Texas done and then I will show it up to you guys up close. And you can see what I mean about the sides of each of the letters being darker. I don't think you can see it. You can see up here where they uh, went ahead and darkened them outside of each one of the cutouts. And so I'm using that to my advantage. And almost done. This really only takes just a couple of drops to do. And again, it's something great that you can do with your kids. You're, you got younger kids or you got grandkids. You got great grandkids. I know some of us out there, we have great grandkids. I'm not one of that. I'm not in that group yet, but I know some of us do. And like I said, it's water-based, so it's not, it's not toxic. The water-based has absolutely no fumes whatsoever. So you don't have to worry about someone with breathing problems or anything like that using the water-based stain. All right, then. So here you go. Here is up close. Now, up, super close up. See how it is soaking in? to the wood it's still wet it still has not completely dried so it is shinier than it will be when it's done but you can see how eek and there's my longhorn so what do you think about that idea for a quick and easy update that you can do to something that you um, got at a craft show or something like that. Just a couple of drops of stain. Marlene says she loves this project. It's a great idea. Marilyn said, well, he's going to love this. Um, it's drying to a great faded vintage look. Exactly. And that's why I went with the boho, the color boho. And again, it's going to soak into that raw. Oh, I shouldn't put it there because... I'll get it mixed up with my, hold on. If I put it on that shelf, that's all paint. And so if I put my stain up there, I'm going to think that it's paint and not stain. So I'm going to sit that right over there because if I don't, I'm going to sit there and go, I know I had boho water, water based stain. I know I had it in boho. What did I do with my boho? And I'll drive myself. It's not a, not a long drive, but I would be. Um, hey, Kath, Kath is on. Okay, so 
as I was saying at the beginning of the video, but I know a lot of you jumped on, this is just a plain and simple box, wood box. Pick them up, you can get them at Dollar Tree. You can, if you want them bigger or nicer wood, you can get them at what I call the Mothership Hobby Lobby. Um, you can pick them up in any arts and crafts store. You can get them online. Um, I ordered a box of them, like, I think it's like 160 boxes or something. And it was like 20 bucks to order them for crafts online. And what I did was I'm using, going to use a Southern Rust Kit and I'm going to do um, all four sides and the top. I'm not going to do the bottom. So when you do this and you do it using the wet method, which means you can apply this several different ways, the Southern Rust Kit, three colors. You start off with your yellow and then your orange and then your brown. You can do it all with the yellow and then let it dry and then do another coat over top with the orange and let it dry and then do the brown and let it dry. And that's going to be a very distinct mixture of the colors. I mean, it's going to be these colors. I prefer to do the wet method. Hey, cat. And what the wet method is, is I don't stop in between coats. I lay down my yellow and then I yet lay down my orange and then I lay down my brown while it's wet. I'm not going to take the top off. And when I set it down, I'm going to let it dry with the top one. On boxes like these, if you do that, once it's dry, you take the top off, and if you put the top back on, it's going to look like a block. It's not going to look like a box anymore that you can see that line where it opens up. And that's, I had a friend of mine, he saw a box that I did like that, and he says, I need three of those for Christmas. So he called me last night, and he says, are you done with my boxes? And Rick, if you're watching, I'm sorry, but I, I, I think I've been running, honey, and I completely forgot about the boxes. So I said... I, 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 I'm doing them tomorrow. Like that was my plan the whole time. Yep. And so we are, uh, I'm, I'm catching up. So we're going to start off taking this whole box and doing a coat of yellow, then a coat of orange and then a coat of brown. So Kat says, Mr. Miss Joe caught you on break. Uh, Hey girl, I miss being here. I meant to be back last week. I don't know if it was my last day in Indiana or if it was on my plane ride back, but I caught a bug and it absolutely whooped me. So the first week I was gone was because uh, I was in Indiana. The second week I was gone was because I picked up a bug. So what you want to do is you just want to take and pounce with the end of your brush. That's why I like using a chip brush. This does have a built-in texture with it, and it's uh, very, it's kind of gritty. When you open, you want to make sure that I use tongue depressors, craft sticks, whatever you want to call them, and I make sure that I get all of my ooey-gooey goodness from the bottom and stir it all up. Now, I'm not worried about full coverage on my first take because I've got two more I've got two more coats of paint of this process to go. So I am just laying down. I really should have got my dolly. My, well, not my dolly, my lazy Susan for this, but I didn't. So here we go on the top and you can see how quickly this is moving. I am going to put a little bit more over right here in the center because these boxes, one of the reasons I got them cheap was because they had a manufacturer on them and I don't want the manufacturer. So, and since I am doing three boxes, I got three different brushes because, you know, I don't want to muddle my paint up that much, but you will be dipping back and forth. So it really doesn't matter. It's just, uh, me, you know, personal preference. You can pour some out into if you don't want to go directly from your jars. But I'm being lazy today. I'm going directly from my jars, which I probably never do. And then somebody's going to go back. Remember when you did? Yeah, I, I know. I know. I say I don't, but I do. I try not to. How about that? 
I, att I attempt. I don't, I'm not always successful, but I attempt. All right. So you, there you go. So you can see on the top how it's just, you can still see the yellow underneath, not full coverage. And I'm going to do the same thing on the sides and it's going to kind of look like a fiery mess until that final coat and then that final coat's going to when you hit it with the that dark brown you're going to go oh i okay i'm just going to be I, I i tell you guys the truth whether it hurts my feelings or not when i first heard of the southern rust kit i was like well i really don't need that you know i can do that with this or i can do you know Marilyn encouraged me to try it. Actually, she sent it as one of my shipping things, my um, for my to help pay my shipping, shipping compensation. That's the word I was looking for. And I tried it, and I love this thing. I use the Southern Rust Kit on um, Christmas ornaments. Um, I'll do like the top in the Southern Rust Kit or the bottom of the Christmas ball in the Southern Rust Kit and then fill it with sand and seashells. And it makes, it does, it's great for Christmas ornaments. I use them on mason jars. Um, I've had rustic weddings that they're looking for centerpieces. And I use the Southern Rust Kit on my mason jars to make them look older. Um, I use the Southern Rust Kit on a lot. I've used it on hardware to make them look aged. And then sometimes after the Southern Rust Kit dries, I'll hit them with some of my gilding jewels to make them look like a patina rust. But for this one, I'm not doing the, that's, see, that's why I've got a painter's cloth tarp now. Um, I'm not going to, probably not going to hit these with the um, gilding jewels because he said he just wanted the Southern Rust Kit. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I just did the top, and what I'm going to show you is this is the side that has the orange and the yellow. Like I said, it kind of looks like a fiery mess. Now look at the top. Do you see how that is? Let me see. I need to turn my ring light off because that is giving a shine. Okay. So this is the side that has, it's just orange and yellow the first two and then it is wet the brown will dry darker so let me see if I can so are you can see the difference in the two and how that looks like real rust and as it dries that brown will darken up and it will really 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 look like rust so is that the, yeah that's the right brush Cat said probably plain, probably. Girl, next time we talk, I'll have to tell you about that plane rod. So, and you can decide if you want it, how you want the brown on there. If you want it all over, if you want it thicker. Um, I just kind of like accenting because... And then I'll do probably the next box, which I'm just going to, y'all don't want to sit there and see me do three boxes in Southern Rust Kit, do you? But I was thinking that one of the boxes I would do more brown, one I would let, you know, more of the yellow shine through, one I let more of the orange shine through, because I'm not sure who he's given them to. And so, and he took my original, because he says, I want them to look like the other boxes, and he took my original. So I don't really remember. Um which color I let shine through more on the other one. So I don't have a reference <laughs> for this. And I tell you what, once these dry, I'll get a picture of them and put them up on my litter, put one up on the, or put them up on the litter to glitter page. And so y'all can see what it looks like when it has dried. 
And so I try to get the sides and then you want it to kind of blend. So I go and back up on the top and hit the sides and go back. So the cube is done. So in a matter of what, seven, seven minutes, maybe five minutes, seven minutes. I wasn't timing. You can take a plain box. You don't have to prime it. If it's wood, you don't have to prime it. Southern rust kit goes straight on the sample that I did that he saw that he stole. Um, I probably did about three, four years ago and paint the Southern rust kit never flaked off of one of these boxes. And so in a matter of seven minutes, if you're looking for a Christmas idea, you can always, thank you, Kat. Kat says she sprinkled me. So if you're looking for a quick and easy Christmas gift idea, Southern Rust Kit Plain Box. Done. That's it. I, that's as simple. So I'm going to uh, let you guys go. I will be on next Tuesday. Um, Shorty is going to be flying home Thursday, uh, just so you know. Um, we were planning on doing a Whiskey and Women, but with him flying home Thursday, I'll be up at the airport getting him. So I will be back on Miss Lillian's next week with you guys. It'll be the next time you see me on a painting live. And definitely follow your other creators. Give them some love. And I hope that I've given you guys some good ideas for how to update stuff for Christmas. So thank you guys so much for joining me. And I will see y'all next week. Bye, guys.